Hiya, it's me, Scotty here, uh, Monday night. Uh, no silly hats or dark clothes tonight. Um, bit of a serious comment, I suppose, in a funny kind of way. It's funny how um, people can come into other people's thoughts. And I think there's four of us all right at the same time when this one person came up in our thoughts. It's a bit weird, but in a funny kind of way, uh, but nice in another kind of way. Um, and that was um, this chat. It's funny because uh, Jerry Sheets made a comment on my video about um, whether I've still got my Milo paint stick. And then blow me, didn't I um, hear him being mentioned on uh, you Dizzy's um, live and uh, um, Katana uh, named him as well. So it, isn't that strange? It's four of us thought about him at the same well, about the same sort of time. Um, for me, um, I mean, Milo's been gone a little while now, bless him. Um, but he, you know, he. It was a nice chat, and uh, he was um, trying to get me through my my um, problems with my uh, body work, which is um, you know helping me with uh, sorting out my skills. And he advised me to uh, use a paint stick, which I obviously do, and um, uh, and it helped me a lot, you know. So. Uh, but I suppose that sort of leads me on to the, the YouTube Garage Gang and uh, the fact that um, you know some of us have got certain skills, some of us have got other skills and some of us have been on YouTube a long time, some of us haven't. Some of us have had a year off and all of a sudden crept back in again. Um, and the one overriding part of it, and I think um, Anthony HO Motorsports mentioned it as well the other day, um, is the the ethics I think behind the gang is that um, we're here to help each other out, and uh, that's why um, what's such a big pull to me to come back and get stuck in and, and um, get back involved. I missed everybody and. Uh, um, everybody, I believe, to, you know, to me, are um, true friends, you know. You don't make a comment unless it's, or you try and avoid making any negative comments. Or if you've got a comment that's uh, going to be a little bit against what the person's doing, you put it in a way that doesn't offend them, and that's, that's what's about. You know, if you can see someone's uh, going down the wrong path, you don't... Um, you don't troll them, you, you, you know, try and point it out like a brother would, maybe. Does that make sense? I think so. So, um, let's have a little bit of a shot. You know what I was saying about some of the, some of the guys we haven't seen for a little while, and, um, Some sadly we will never see again, but not um, not this side of uh, the world anyway. But there's an awful lot of people out there that, are, that I consider me to be my friends. And uh, so if you if you um, if you're watching this and you you know. You're humming and hollering about doing a video, you've never done a video before, I'd say go on and get for it, go for it. I'm just very shy about doing videos at the start and just did slideshows and things. I think just get involved, isn't it? You don't, I mean, you don't have to do videos, no, no. It's up to you. If you make comments, that's nice too. Everybody gets, uh, gets a little bit from it. So what I'm going to be doing, um, I did something, I don't know if I'm regretting it, but I, I did it anyway. On the front of this uh, front valance, I put stone chip on there. It felt like the right thing to do, but I'm sort of—I've decided to take some of the 
I want it a bit smoother. It's a bit too. I want it to shine and be shiny. So I'm going to take some of the some of the roughness off it. So I'm going to be sanding that. And I'm going to. I've got to do my seal, my or my rocker, my seal. Depending on what part of the world you're in. I need to sand that. I haven't done that yet. Oh yeah. Um, not got much to show you other than uh, uh, tonight is Tuesday night. Other than uh, I'm working on the um, window surround, uh, windscreen surround, and the windscreen frame. I've got a real fet. Uh, I'm going to call it a fetish, but I've got a real fetish for areas like this being really smooth. And um, I'd, I'd rather it was really shiny under the bonnet and not too bad on the outside. I don't know why. Weird, isn't it? I think it's years of working on oily things when it was a pleasure to work on something that was clean, you know? Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so I'm working all the fiddly bits and then I'm, going, I'm sort of working around in a big old circle and then eventually I'll end up on the roof, hopefully. I won't end up on the roof, but I'll end up sanding the roof. And then we'll be done. And then we can chuck some more paint on it. Um, I did uh, sand a bulk of that stuff off the, um, not off, but smooth the um, oh, I can't remember. I keep seeing um, uh, the front valance. The um, see, why do I keep seeing um? I did sand, uh, sand smooth. <laughs> I did sand the uh, the uh, stone chip, rock guard, bed liner, call it what you like, uh, and take a lot of the texture out of that because I'd like to see it shinier than uh, than, it, than I was going to expect to get. I'll tell you what, I really have lost the ability to talk. Have you noticed? Anyway, I'm going to carry on with sanding because that doesn't, oh, that doesn't involve a lot of talking. Is that alright? That's alright with you lot, isn't it? Yeah. You know what's funny about this situation? It's, um, I reckon half the skill that you blokes have. Um, is in knowing when to stop sanding, isn't it? Um, it's the bit I've got to learn. See, normally I would have kept sanding that until I started seeing metal and, you know, bugging it right up. But I just stopped here and obviously I'm start seeing a load coming out. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and let's just do this and let's see. See that? So you can see the low the load coming out and now but before I would have kept going and I would have gone well past it and um, but watching all the all the good fellows doing it you can see that you've got to stop early enough I think that's half the battle um, so I'm going to just put a little bit of uh, my putty in um, mouse mats are quite handy aren't they this sort of malarkey, I think. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of hardener with it just to help it along, you know, because it's quite cold in here. Yeah, I know it doesn't have to have it, but I'm just going to have a little bit in there just to. And the other thing was um, is to go. Um, wide enough on the actual piece because I would have normally just put it in there. Well, I see the higher and the higher, I'd put it just put it in that bit. Of course, I actually need to go well past it so that you can you can go back to the area again, doesn't it? That's what needs to happen. Yeah, I think so. Right, there we go. I think it's definitely um, an art to it. I'm not blowing smoke up your asses, I think, but I think there's definitely a lot more art to this um, sanding and bodywork and getting that right than people give you a lot of credit for. Um, I think I've got a feeling, you know, it's close to being artistic. It's a hell of a 
hand control it art to it, isn't it? Don't you think? Those of you who can do it. What I said. It's even a skill to put it in the bloody panel, isn't it? <laughs> Give yourself more work or not. My dad, I think, was pretty good at it, and he used to say, you're overworking it, boy. I don't know. Right, so try that. Alright guys, well, I've got, um, for this, um, what I believe to be finished. Well, I thought I died. I ended up finding a little bloody scratch. Look, I missed that one completely. Anyway, so I've got it. Um, apart from that scratch, I've got it where I think um, it's flat. <clears throat> one thing I've noticed. Uh, you can see my floor is covered in blooming sandpaper. That. Um, I definitely am not going to uh, put hardener with that stuff again because it was a nightmare. See what is it just clogged up the paper and it was like um, well if we ever run out of uh, concrete to make dams with then yeah we can use that because it was bloody hard. It just went hard, hard as anything. Um, 